Good morning, YouTube. Welcome back to the channel. And you know what today is. It's crabbing day. And I found a brand new location here in Crystal River. And um, it's so funny in front of me. The guy, I follow him on YouTube and he just pulled in front of me. And I'm going to tell him that I follow him on YouTube. And he would never tell me, tell anybody the spot where he crabs at. He's like, oh, it's just around Crystal River. But what he don't know is when he flew his drone into the sky, I'm smarter than the average bear. I'm pretty young. If you give me any sight, any drone footage, any thing that I can go off of, like any, um, I can't even think of the word, I'm gonna find out where you're crabbing. And it took me two weeks to find out where he was crabbing and I found it. Yeah, so I am excited. Um, I hope I catch some crabs like him. Um, I've never been out here before and I've seen it on, um, I've seen it on Google Maps and I've seen it on my eye, um, eye maps. And I'm so happy that I was able to uh, spot out his location. Because he won't give out the location, I guess I'll be nice and not give out the location. But FYI, when these creators and these content creators don't want to give you the location, look for landmarks. It was super hard, but you know what gave it away? When he flew his drone and I seen the part of the land and I seen boat ramps and everything. So when I did that, that's how I found it. So come along. Let's see if we can catch some crabs today. And uh, maybe he'll be in my YouTube. All right, so. I'm already hot and sweaty and I got my chicken on a string ready to go in the bucket and I'm just gonna stay at these two spots because guys there are big banana spiders out here it is so like it's country and it's quiet and uh, I just got finished talking to um, oh my goodness fish man Mike so he's really really nice he's out here he's crabbing with his grandson and I guess his son from uh, Ohio so that was nice of him to come over here and speak to me and I told him how I found the location so uh, yeah we're gonna have a good time he said um, I should be able to get my limit today I usually go for 8 to 10 that's it because it's just me at home and uh, yeah so um, we're gonna get out here and let's see if we can catch some guys we're gonna toss it over here and see if we get anything over here we're gonna walk in the water so we can throw it as far as possible hold on just a second i just want to hold it so i won't <laughs> let go of it all right so let's get this out here all right so it's really nice and pretty out here. All right, and we're gonna go on this side now. We're gonna walk out into the water. I'm trying to see where I can tie like my um, my string. I need to get, um, we're gonna go over this side. Since there's like some um, mangroves over here, I can tie it too. So we're gonna walk out here, just like this. And chicken on the string, got the end. And you just toss it out like that and then like i said if you ain't got nothing to hold this on to just tie it to these uh mangroves these mangroves are pretty easy to tie on the string to just remember to take it off when you're done all right and we gonna sit and wait crab on there we go this is gonna be the first crab of the day if i can just get them Got him. First crab of the day. Woohoo! There you go, guys. Woohoo! I got a crab. I got a crab. I got a crab. Woohoo! And he is beautiful. 
beautiful beautiful nice all right we're walking up to the cooler and what i've learned too on uh on youtube is don't just bring some ice packs i mean you can buy these ice packs you know these blue ice packs for like three bucks at walmart and just freeze them i got three large ones in here and they last a long time so yeah first one going in if we can get them out and you know i ain't trying to get pinched or nothing but hopefully he'll come out i'll be right back all right Oop. all right guys we got crab on crab on and he is fighting he is swimming all his might. Crab on, crab on. He's right on the rock. Got him. Uh-uh, you ain't coming out of here. No sorry, Bob. Woohoo! Crab on, guys. Look how beautiful he is. Uh-uh, he's trying to climb out. No, 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 no. We ain't doing that today. No, sir. Crab on, guys. This is amazing. Okay, gonna go ahead and put him in too. Hopefully he won't be a pain in the butt and he was not a pain in the butt. Oh, and that's what y'all looking for, guys, a rusty belly. Rusty bellies um, usually have a lot more meat than the ones that just have a snow white, you know, uh, appearance on the bottom. I'm trying to flip him over. Hold on just a second, let me get my... It's not the prettiest out here, guys. Let me tell you that. I'm sweating like a crazy person. But uh, as long as you have everything ready to go, it will be a lot easier. All right, so we're going to help him out. Because I can't stand some YouTubers. They just toss them in here and don't care about them. I mean, yeah, you're going to eat them at the end of the day, but come on now. All right, guys, we got crab on, crab on, crab on. Got him. Here we go, guys. We are doing great this morning. This is just pure awesome. I have never caught crabs so quickly out here. This is awesome. I understand why he says that he doesn't want to let people know unless you find it on your own. Because, uh, yeah, it's, it's doing really good out here. If I can get my chicken out. So give me a minute. Let me get my chicken out. Crab number three going into the pot. And of course he's gonna be problematic because he wants to grip everything. I'll be back. Now this water is so murky, I can barely tell, but I think I got crab on. I shall do, I shall do. But he a little too small, so we gonna toss him back. You lucky. I feel I'm swimming with it. As soon as I can confirm. Oh yeah, crab on. And I missed him. Dang damn it. Crab on. Oh, and I missed him again. Missed him again. He just rolled right out of my net. All right, I think I got a crab on. If I can just get him. I think, I think he's gonna stick. Maybe he'll stick on. Oh, I got two of them fighting for it. I got two of them fighting. I just don't know how I'm gonna get them both. But I got two of them. Got both of them. Yes, it's a double! It's a double! Woohoo! I got a double, baby. Come look at that, guys. 
Look at that! I got a double! Woohoo! Nice! Alright, we got a double dump. Woohoo! Alright, move the blast basket out the way and see if it hangs small. There we go, guys! Woohoo! Nice! Here we got crab on. Crab on, crab on, crab on. He's pulling. Go ahead and get the net ready. I think we got crab on. Yeah, I think we got a heavy crab. I think he's pretty heavy. Let's pull him in super slow. Gotta pull him in super slow. Try to get him up to the top. Got oh damn it. <laughs> I think I got crab on. Possibly. Possibly. It feels like it. Possibly. And I do. Got him. Got him. Woohoo. Got him, got him, got him, guys. Got him. Woo. And he still ain't letting go. Awesome. I think so. Yeah. I got crab on. Dang. I just missed him. I don't know if they can just see over here better. Good dog. <laughs> I don't know if y'all can see it, but I threw away a drumstick. And there's a little bitty female eating the drumstick over here. I'm not going to mess with her. But yeah, there's a little drum, little girl eating the drumstick over there. Alright, will this be it? I'm not sure. I don't know if there's something on here or not. Eh, it's a small one. I don't see it being too big. Yeah. No, it's not. That's pretty good. Nice. I finally caught one on the right side. Good gracious. Took long enough. Right, we got one on. Got one on. I'm going to get down here where it's a little deeper. Go ahead and put my net underneath the water. Got one on. I don't know if he's big or not. No, but there's two of them. Oh, they're fighting. They're fighting for it. Yep, they're both fighting for it. Got both of them. Or, got both of them. Yeah! Woohoo! Y'all see that? Two of them fighting for it. There's the other one at the bottom. One's a keeper and one's not. Nice. One's a keeper and one's not. Man, he's got some pretty big claws. Holy crap. Really pretty blue claws.
Gene. Ne. Ne. I'll crop my butt off, thing off. All right, we got a crab on. Hopefully we can get him in. I just keep pulling it very slow to make sure he is still eating it. All right, let's see what we have here. All right, let me feel it. Yep, he's still on there. I was trying to bring him up to the, bring him up to the ceiling. And he's off, of course. All right, crab on, crab on. Crab on. Got him. Oh my God, he is a monster. Look at that, guys. Look how big he is. I knew it, I knew I had a crab on. Crab on, crab on, all right. This is so fun. <laughs> This is great. I don't think I can get my chicken out though. Oh my gosh, he's so big and pretty. Does he have a rusty belly? Oh, he's kind of rusty. Wow, guys, he's, he's gorgeous. All right, we're gonna see if something's on this one. Water shoes come so in handy. Yeah, there's something on it. I feel it. I think I pulled a little bit too early. Let me see if we can get back on there. Yeah, he's back on. We're gonna get a little bit deeper so I can scoop them up a little bit more efficiently. see that he's not quite five but uh and he looks like he just molted we don't want those because you literally can see him and he is almost see-through so we don't want we don't want nothing like that so we're just gonna gently let him go We're just going to toss it back out here and try again without stepping on the rope.
and we're gonna check the other one. Guys, pick up your freaking trash. I gotta show y'all this. I have caught, I have caught a, um, I have caught a net. I caught this freaking crabbing, sticking it out here. Like, clean up your stuff. This is why we can't have nice things because nobody wants to clean up their crap. And then when I think I have a crab on, I'm catching other people's crap instead of the crab. So clean up after yourself. It's not that hard, but it is pretty and it's very hot outside. So hopefully I get another crab. My GoPro battery died, so that's why I'm filming on my phone at the moment. Um, so yeah, just bear with me. All right, guys, this is what I got so far. I got, this place is awesome. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine nine of them already and i'm not gonna stop until i run out of chicken so this is gonna be a good haul amazing all right we got fish man mike out here and he is crabbing out here with me he's doing pretty good with his family and he's gonna tell you about his channel what's up everyone um so basically i'm i usually fish the tampa bay area but i'm up around the crystal river area do some crabbing but uh, yeah, come over and check out my Fishman Mike YouTube channel. I saltwater fish, I crab, I dive for scallops. You'll see me down in the Keys fishing. Um, the last video, I got some really nice nurse shark. But yeah, come mm -hmm. over and check out my channel. Um, I started about five months ago, but I really enjoy making these videos. Awesome. All right, guys, um, I just interviewed Fishman Mike, and he is about to come over here and demonstrate how he catches crabs um, with his fishing rod, and uh, so we're gonna get to it. What's up, everyone? Uh, I'm Mike with Fishman Mike. Check out my YouTube channel. You can also check me out on Facebook, Fishman Mike. I do giveaways. Uh, last week, or last month, I gave away a Bass Pro Shop card. This month, I'm giving away a Fishman Mike shirt. But uh, on my crabbing, I use these folding traps. So basically, what you do is you hook it to a rod, rod and reel line cast it out it opens up like that and then when you get a crab come on it kind of like bumps the line like that and your rod tip will do this not always but a lot of times they'll do that and what you do is you just reel it in you don't need to set the hook you just pick it up and start reeling just like that it folds up like that real simple to use but very productive and where can people get these type of nets the ones with the pocket like this right here you get them on eBay three for like $49. They have one without the pocket that you just slide the chicken in. You can get Bass Pro Shop for like $18 a piece. So okay, I prefer the one without the pouch, but mm -hmm. they both work well. And then what do you suggest people use for line? What uh, type? I prefer, it don't matter what line, but I, I would definitely go heavy. Nothing under 20 pounds because I have snapped these off, casted them out. So nothing under 20 pounds. Okay. But, uh, awesome. Yeah. Check out my channel. I do uh, fishing videos as well. I fish the Florida Keys. I fish Tampa Bay. And I come up around Crystal River crabbing and scalloping. So, yeah, definitely check out my channel. And how has been your catch today with these? Uh, we've kept probably a minimum of 20, between 20 and 25. We released another seven or eight. So, That's not a, a bad day. That is a great day. Thank you so much yeah. for demonstrating these and you know guys get out there and try something new this is you know i don't know if this is a new thing or not but obviously it works as he said he's done caught 20 crabs already that are keepers so definitely get out there and try it out crab on crab on perfect Guys, this is as many crabs as I ever caught. This is amazing. On, let's see. It's kind of hard now that the wind is blowing. I think he dropped off. Oh, I feel him back on there. Uh oh. All right, let's see. 
feel him nudging, nudging. Let's see if we can pull him up to the surface. Nope, he let go. Crab on. Got him. Got him. Woohoo. Got him, boys. I got him. And he ain't letting go of the chicken either. Woohoo. That's awesome. I believe we got a crab on, guys. As soon as I can get him to the surface. Oh my gosh. I don't know. I'm trying to see. This water is so murky. Got him. My first female, guys. Oh, she's rusty too. My first female. She is not happy. There she is. And she is way too small, so we're gonna give her back. All right, we got a crab on. I don't know how big he is, but we about to see. Let's try to pull him up to the surface. If he hasn't let go yet. Which I think he has. Possibly. I see a small one in front of me, but I don't think it's him. Okay, I do see him. Crab on, crab on, crab on. I think it's a baby. Yeah, I think it's a baby. I think there are two babies. Yeah, I think they're just two babies. Yeah, they immediately took it. Like, immediately. Like, I feel them just tug it on it. Alright guys, this feels super heavy, so I'm getting ready. If I can just pull them up to the, to the ceiling. Oh, he's so big. Don't fumble, Ingla. Don't fumble. And I fumbled him. Straight off fumbled him. <sighs> this feels heavy, so we're going to see. I don't know if he's still on there or not. Female crab. My first female crab. And she is... Oh my goodness. <laughs> my first female crab and she is nice and rusty. As you can see, rusty belly equals a lot of meat and she is beautiful. And how you can tell it's a female crab is that she has lipsticks on her claws and her apron is like an oval shape. So that's how you can tell a female crab. All right, you guys, I am done for the day. It is hot out here and I have an amazing catch. I can't wait to show you how many I have, but shout out to um, Fishman Mike for giving me um, one of his crab traps. And I will definitely put his information in the description down below. I will also link a link if you want to try this crab shack. Uh, crab shack, oh my goodness, crab trap. So yeah, stay tuned for that, but I'm excited to show you everything I caught today. Welcome back. All right, I have finally made it at home. I've showered because I smelt like nasty crab and nasty water. I am relaxed now. So I'm gonna show you how I clean my crabs and how I'm gonna cook my crabs. And uh, I've had a lot of requests. A lot of people have sent me messages and saying, we see you catch them, we don't never see you clean them, and we don't never see you, you know, cook them and eat them. Well, you're gonna see today, today. 
So, uh, yeah, my method is gonna be the Instapot. You heard me, it's the Instapot. So, I'm gonna show you what I do and how I clean them, and uh, we're gonna go ahead and get started. So, I'm so excited. All right, the crabs have been on ice for a little while, so they're nice and quiet and calm. And uh, I'm gonna count how many crabs we got today and uh, show you how I clean them. All right, I'm not gonna show you how I clean every crab, but this is how I clean them. This is my method. So I'm gonna get a little bit closer to here so y'all can see. All right, so I have a scrubby right here and I will, he's trying to come back to life so I'm gonna be quick about it. I will run water just a little bit, just like this. And I will just wet it and I will just clean right on top. I clean where his little legs is and make sure you get underneath here. You see that? That's nothing but mud that they burrow themselves in. So make sure you do it quick and you want to clean and put the little water up a little bit. You want to just take your little scrubby and you want to make sure you clean between their legs because you don't want to eat that soot. You don't want that in your water when you go to boil them. I promise you that. So you want to make sure their, um, you know, their sides are clean. Just like that. I don't never see YouTubers clean their crabs like this. I, I, I This is just the way I clean my crabs. And then you're going to flip them over. You can tell this is a male right here because of his apron. Kind of looks like a rocket ship. And you're just going to clean the bottom right there until, you know, you don't see no dirt. Even clean his little mandolin things. And just make sure you just clean them really, really good. I think I left a little bit of dirt, but that's okay. I got it. I just don't want no mud. All right, and that's what you call a clean crab. I got all his dirtiness up here, you know, that was caked underneath here from him digging in the ground. So yeah, that's how you clean a crab. All right, guys. The total is 14 I caught today. It's my new record. Usually I only catch about eight or nine. And 14 is what I caught today. And I started around 10 o'clock today, this morning. And, uh, and I stopped around, I think, three o'clock. So 14 on, with just chicken on a string. Not bad at all. All right, so I wanted to show you guys my setup for how I cook the crabs. So um, I got me some baby potatoes right here, some Cajun style. All this is from different stores. So um, I got me some crab boil. I got me some Tony's paprika. This stuff is from Walmart. I ripped the tag off, but it's like mushroom umami flavoring seasoning. It's pretty good. So I love that. And then I got some adobo, garlic powder, onion powder. I got me some crawfish boil. I got me um, a corn, some asparagus. I got the free. I got the um, shrimp in the freezer, and then some white distilled vinegar. Got me some lemons to put, some scallions, and some garlic. And we're gonna make the butter. And I'll show you how I am gonna cook it in my instapot. Yes, you can cook crabs in an instapot. It took me a lot of research, but you can do it. And if you only cook like three or four, it only takes five to 10 minutes depending on how big they are. So I will show you how I do everything. All right, first things first, we're gonna go ahead and um, boil these first. It comes with like a little Cajun packet. So we are gonna use it to our advantage and we are gonna just drop it in there. And this is the little Cajun thing it comes with right here. And we're just gonna drop it in there. And we're gonna put some potatoes in here. These are already washed because you just 
literally pop this in the microwave, but I have never used this in the microwave. So don't be coming at me like, wash your stuff. Look, it's pre-washed. So we're just gonna drop a little bit in there, just like that. Oh, we got a little bit left. Okay. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get that boiling and I will show you what I do next. All right, next is the butter sauce. I'm gonna move it up just a little bit so y'all can kind of see. All right, so this is what how I make my garlic lemon butter. We're gonna put almost a stick of butter in here, just like that. And we're gonna let it melt, slowly but surely. All right, so while the butter is going, we're gonna go ahead and cut up some scallions. I put scallions in my butter. I think it's great. And we're just gonna go ahead and just chop up some of these. All right, scallions are done. I'm gonna go ahead, I had some mushrooms left and I'm gonna go ahead and um, quarter these mushrooms real quick and we're gonna be dropping them in the water as well. So we'll go ahead and do that. Let me rinse them off real quick. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and just quarter them up just like that. I didn't know you can put mushrooms in a seafood boil, but obviously it's very popular. All right, so that's done. Next, we're gonna cut up some corn. Just some bite-sized pieces, just like that. Like that, and like that. Now we got our corn, mushrooms, and uh, we're gonna cut some asparagus as well, And uh, but that'll be for later. All right, so we're gonna cut up a few asparagus. Always make sure you trim the bottoms because that's where it's tough at. It's just me, so I'm not cooking a lot of stuff. So, so now, just about all the prep is done. All right, the moment has finally came where I show you how to cook crabs in the Instapot. You're gonna take off your Instapot, just like that. Okay, you're gonna get your basket that came with the Instapot. You're gonna lay it down flat. You're gonna take some water and you're just going to fill up right before it goes well, a little bit over where the uh, silver lining is of your rack. So about two cups. That's it, don't put no more, no less. We are steaming them. So now you're gonna go ahead, put distilled vinegar in it. Not a lot, just a little bit. The, the vinegar helps the meat uh, come out better. We're gonna put some crab boil in it. Just a little bit. And we're gonna go ahead and put some of this crab boil in it. Um, it was on sale at Winn-Dixie, so we're gonna try it. And we're gonna put some of this in there. I want it extra concentrated. Woo! If you ain't sneezing, it ain't seasoned cause I'm about to sneeze. So once you get that done, you're gonna come over here and you are going to hit saute, okay? Hit saute, it's gonna make the water get hot. And this is going to allow your um, crabs to cook 
a lot quicker instead of waiting it for it to boil and stuff. So hit it on saute once it gets hot, then start putting your crab in there. All right, now that your water is starting to get hot, you can go ahead and start seasoning it. So I'm gonna put a little bit of garlic in there, garlic powder, just for in the water. I'm gonna still sprinkle this on the crab too. A Little bit of garlic. Some Tony's, I want mine spicy. I like it spicy, not too spicy, but I like it spicy. So we gonna add some Tony's up in there. We gonna add some pap pap, some pap pap paprika, some mushroom, so we can give it that seafood taste. And a little bit of salt, seasoning salt. All right. So you see, I'll turn this way. I mean, it's just barely above it. So now what we're gonna do is I sliced up some lemons right here. We're gonna go ahead and just put some lemons on top. Just like that. This is just how I do it. You can do it however you want. Now we got the crabs. We're gonna go ahead and put the crab in here just like this. I'm gonna put him in here like that. I'm just eating three, it's just me. So I'm not trying to fill this thing up. And we're gonna put him in there just like that. And I'm gonna put his claws in just like that. So now I'm gonna just put some Tony's on top. Just gonna use the same seasonings. That was a lot of garlic. It's okay. A little bit of this uh, right here. A little bit of pat pat. And we're going to take a little bit of this crab boil and put it on top too. It ain't going to hurt nothing. This is going to give it flavor. I mean, it ain't going to hurt a daggum thing. All right. Now you hear it. Um, you hear it sizzling. I'm gonna take the rest of my lemons right here and I'm just gonna put them on top. This is just the way I like to do it. You can do it however you want. But people ask me how I wanna do it and how I do it at home. This is how you do it. And this is how I do it. I keep saying this is how you do it. This is how I do it. So now that you still, you know, you starting to see the steam, we're gonna go ahead and we're done. Um, go ahead and put this lid on. Make sure your steamer is up here like this. And we're gonna switch it. All right, we're gonna cancel this. All right, sorry, my nose is so runny because of the seasoning. So now we're gonna hit pressure. And it's on high pressure now. We're going to move it to five minutes. That's all it takes, guys, is five minutes. I promise. And it will cook just perfectly. So I will show you after they're done. Um, it's going to beep just like that. And now it just says on. Now we're going to wait for this to come up. And that'll be building um, the pressure. So we'll just wait and um, I'm gonna go ahead and start cooking up the shrimp, the asparagus, corn, and mushrooms. All right, I totally lied. <laughs> the potatoes are still kind of um, hard. So I'm gonna show you what I put in my lemon garlic butter. So I have it on low right now. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and put a little bit of crab oil in it. Yep, just a little bit. Just a little bit. We're gonna go ahead and season because this is unsalted um, butter. It's a little bit of salt. I mean, just a little bit. A little bit of Tony's. A little bit of that. Um, do I wanna add it in here? No, I'm fine. I'm not gonna add it in here. 
I'm gonna add a pap pap, a little bit of onion, garlic, and I am gonna go ahead and add my scallions. Give me one moment. Trying to gather them up. All right, so we're gonna add our scallions in here and we're just gonna switch it around. Next, get you a microplane. This is better than chopping up anything and it will um, make the, sorry, <laughs> make it more fragrant. So we're gonna grate some garlic in here. Be careful not to cut myself because last time I did cut myself and it was not fun and it didn't heal for a very long time. And when I say, uh, see, I almost cut myself just like that as soon as I said it. All right, we're gonna do one. I want mine garlicky. Two and three. It's not, it's really skinny, so don't worry. I'll keep the vampires away with my breath. This is why I live by myself, so I can make anything as potent as I want to. So you're just gonna grate it just like that, throw it in there, and there you go. Next, I got this half a lemon, and we're gonna zest it in here as well, and we're gonna squeeze it out. So go ahead and get the lemon zest. It's totally fine if you, you know, grate it on where you grated a garlic. It's all going in the same pot. So you're just gonna zest the lemon just like this. And make sure it's on low because you don't want this lemon to burn. It will make your butter very, very bitter. And the garlic too. If you burn your garlic, you're up the creek as well. So I got all the zest. And now I'm just gonna flip it over just like that. Scrape whatever's left, and now you use this, and you're gonna, you know, squeeze the lemon, and you're catching all the seeds. It's like a little strainer. Well, one got away. So now, now you got lemon garlic dipping butter. Now we got our garlic butter out the way, it's time to go ahead and start putting in some stuff. So the next thing that cooks pretty quickly is corn, or cooks slowly, I would say, is corn. So we're gonna go ahead and throw the corn in there. And it brought down the temperature a little bit. And we're gonna go ahead and add in our mushrooms because mushrooms absorb everything that is in the water. So we're gonna go ahead and put in our mushrooms. We're gonna let these cook for a good five minutes and then we'll add our asparagus and then we'll add our shrimp last because you don't want rubbery shrimp. All right, this just beeped. So five minutes on the clock on the Instapot. Everything is sealed up so everything is ready to go. All right. It is done guys, that's it. Five minutes and it's done. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, release some steam and we're gonna just let them sit in there until everything else is done. So here we go, one, two, three. Woo! All right. All right, now that everything's pretty much cooked, it's time to put in the asparagus. It'll fit. Once it gets kind of wilted, I'll fold it over. All right, now that the asparagus is pretty much done, it's time to put in a few shrimp. Like I said, it's just me, so I'm just gonna put in like a few. That's it, I, I don't need a lot, cause I'm gonna be eating three crabs, so I'm good. All right, everyone, this is the moment everybody's been waiting for, and this is the grand finale. Oh, 
Oh my goodness. Do y'all smell this? Sorry, it's fogging up everything. Look how beautiful. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Hold on just a second. Okay. Look how beautiful those crabs are. And I'm gonna get them out for you. These smell fantastic. So let's go ahead and move some of these lemon pieces. And you see the lemons just disintegrate as soon as you touch it. So crab number one. Hold on just a second. Ooh, there he goes. Look how beautiful he is. Oh my goodness. I cannot wait. All right, I just wanted to show you guys another view of it. And uh, yeah, he's absolutely gorgeous. So this is the end result. Got the butter in the middle. Got some baby potatoes, asparagus, corn, mushrooms with shrimp. And I just put it all on a parchment paper and I just put it on a pizza plate. So this is what it looks like. Just absolutely gorgeous. All right, everyone, that is it for today. I showed you how I cook my little mini seafood boil. And um, yeah, I am so ready to chow down and eat. It's so satisfying to catch your own food. So I am just elated that I caught 14 crab. That was the count. 14 crab and uh that was my record i i've never you know i've never caught 14 crabs so now i have a new spot i'm not gonna give it away this time usually i don't gatekeep but i will gatekeep on this one because yeah it, it's a good location however um thank you so much for you know tuning in to the channel i hope you liked um the cleaning and the food prep um Thank you to my new subscribers. I am so happy that everybody's starting to like my crab videos. And I have got like 60 subscribers in the last like month. And I am just so thrilled. Thank you so much. Um, I wanna hit that 500 goal very quickly. So um, if you, you know, like the video, please give me a thumbs up. Write a comment down below. Um, I can give you whatever tips I have. I don't have a lot. Like I said, this is only like my seventh time crabbing. So I'm still a beginner when it comes to crabbing. So um, yeah, I'm excited. And um, I know it's going to start slowing down around September. So I'm trying to get as much as I can because this year is flying by. Um, thank you once again to uh, Fishman Mike uh, for showing me how to use his crab traps. Thank you, Fishman Mike, for putting me on your YouTube channel. So any subscribers on his YouTube channel that sees me, we can like exchange. You know what I mean? So um, yeah, I've had a great day and um, I'm ready to eat. We'll do another crab video probably in the next week. Um, so I hope you enjoy it and I will see you later. And as always, if you don't know my purpose for doing YouTube videos, it's him. Um, <laughs> I, I promised myself I wasn't going to get emotional, but, um, I lost my baby. I'm sorry. I lost my baby, um, in 2022. Um, he was the love of my life and I had to do something so I won't fall into this darkness because I don't have him. Um, he was 15 and a half years old and um, he got sick and I just couldn't save him. I'm sorry. <laughs> but um, anyways, um, so doing this YouTube channel um keeps me busy and and I know that he would want me to go on without him so um doing YouTubes and traveling and sharing um tips and tricks and whatever I can show you guys that will um get viewers to come that's that's the goal so I'm sorry ugly cry <laughs> but anyways um I will see you guys on the next adventure and I'm ready to eat so